Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video I will be teaching you how to play Chopin's Ballade Opus 23 number 1 in G minor. G minor is like this. And it's important that for this piece we know all the chords that he's going to be using. So he's going to be using a G minor chord, the first chord, an A diminished chord, second chord, B flat major chord, third chord, C minor chord, fourth chord, D major chord, fifth chord, E diminished, sixth chord, and F sharp diminished. One way or other, he's going to use all of them here, and also two more the A major and the A flat major. And he's going to start the piece with this chord. What he does is make this chord a suspension and add the B flat in it. If we do the inversion from this, what we call an A flat sus, we do the inversion and the piece begins like this on a C. Notice that C here, C here, and the notes from the chord. And he does this two beats on C. And the same notes, he does them. Ascending. And he does that in unison. So let's say we do it at the same time, both hands. So the whole passage is in A flat major, and it's important that at the beginning you count this one, two, three, four, one. rest and then you're gonna have to think that the melody starts on C and it goes up all the way to C so this could be the loudest point when you get here so you could start on C pesante very heavy and go slowly first and then speed it up and when you get to the C you start releasing a more piano so this is part of the introductory part. And then we have rest there. Notice here that it already has the flavor with the F sharp on the G sharp minor scale that I showed you at the beginning. The G ta -da -din -din, triplet there. To measure this, we have the rest That's the triplet. So every other note we match it. One, two, three, four, one. Notice also that the F sharp is pertaining to the scale and also the A is pertaining on the G. So this is pertaining to the scale. And then he finished up with the so we're getting closer to the root G, which gives the names to the scale G minor. Now we go to the this degree with this chord C minor, which I showed you at the beginning that is on the scale on the fourth degree. So if we do that, you have it. So we play the C G, and then we have the arpeggio there. So we have this pattern. Da, 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 da. Rest. One, two, and then chord C minor. And then we have this dissonant interval, which you could see it like an E flat major seven, like this. But he again he flip all those notes. I end up with this. Two, three, four, one. Two, three, four. We only did the B three beat ring and it's gonna change the tempo. So we're gonna go from the largo to a moderate tempo now. So all together this will be if I play it naturally, counting and then changing a little bit as I go to make it flow, it will be this. Two, one. Get to the 
Get up. Release. Rest. Triplet. Rest. One, two, C minor. Melody. Now three. One, two, three. And then we start. Now it's important here that you take a very close look at the chord changes. D7 is like this. I gave you a D major at the beginning, which is the fifth chord. Is this chord? But now if we bring it here, we have a D7, and it could go to a G minor, which is the first chord. What he does is flip it and play this. And to go to a G minor, he does the inversion here. Those two chords in pro that you, you learn them. And then the other thing he does is add the B flat to get the, the G minor. So he does a chord, G minor. That's it. So we have one, two, three. Inversion, D on the top, same chord below, the G minor. Inversion, right? Here we have the A diminished. Same, I, I mentioned it before, with the C minor involved. So you hold the three, first three notes because that gives you the chord to get to G minor. Inversion. And A minor 7 flat 5. Then repeats this. Matches. The B matches. And then he goes here. Which does an A7. I mentioned also an A major at the beginning. If you don't understand this, rewind, do those chords very well, and then come back, it'd be so much easier. So we have the G minor here, to the A7, and now going to D major. Notice that the D major is like this, he just brought it up down here. Melody. Okay, before we continue, I'm going to play this very slowly and tell you the chord changes and where it matches. So we have D to G minor, inversion with the melody on top, C with the A minor 7 flat 5, D7 again, repetition, G minor to A major now, change of color, D major. That's everything there. You can also practice the melody. We know the melody is this. That would be the melody. And I prefer doing the chord changes. So I'm going to learn this chord changes, the D7, the G minor, the G minor inverted, A minor 7 flat 5. And then D7 to G minor to A major to D major and then just play it but I have a sense of the harmony the melodic and the rhythmical things all together oh. melody on top bring that melody okay that's the same again. It's important that we count. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six, etc. The important thing is you count, but then you want some freedom. So you want to move it so you give more life and you fill this with your blood any way you want to play it. So we have this. So my rush there, slow down. Again, rush. Okay. 
okay? If you're single, you could get the answer very easily, more intuitive. And sometimes at the end of the line, I might take a moment. Okay, then he's gonna switch this. From here, he will go all the way up for the first time for the highest G, and that's a diminished chord. So he diminished here. Top to F, sus, F major is like this. He brings the B flat upstairs, so he makes that suspension, a sus4. He does this, it's like an F7. B flat major from the beginning. I mentioned this chord. Now, A minor 7. Now, starting to repeat material. All this is repetition. Same thing over and over. Seven to D major. That's the place where we change. So I think I played. I'm gonna play this section up to that point, and and then uh, we do the next part. Take a minute there. Minutes to F sounds. Now he's going to change. We're gonna have a G7 chord. And notice, if you have a G minor like this, D and G is there, so that means it's common to the G7 that we're gonna play, because the G7 has the D, the G, and the F. So that's why he could go there. Then he does the inversion, like this. He play melody and inversion with a G on the bass. Always the chord. Most of the time, the bass note is going to be the first note of the chord. So we have this. Let's analyze a little bit this passage. It's going to involve a C minor, a G minor, C minor, and G minor. Those are the chords we use. So we have the melody like this. And what we do is add the inversions to them. So we have played the G, C minor inversion, the G inversion, C minor inversion, then G and the inversion again. It's important that you play those chords lighter. And then what we do is add the left hand to it. That's too difficult, you could do it by themselves. So, just in root position, and then add the G going back. So, so I like to start louder at the top, so, and then a little bit of release here because it's a minor chord. For the next passage, it's going to be the same pattern on the right hand. You saw them to be major. You could also block them. It'd be the same. And we have to learn the left hand pattern. It starts on B. You 
don't count each note on the trill, just do as fast as possible and resolve it or the speed that you would like. So I will have this now. Every other note. Match, match, trill. We keep with the rhythm with the right hand up. We're solving to B flat major. This is the same chord, but we will have this walking pattern. Now we're gonna keep continue with the same chord here and we're gonna add the melody like this. So let's say we get from here. We get to E flat. We still play in C minor here. D. Now D7 with the melody on top. It's important that we work a little bit on that passage. The first thing we're gonna do is group it. That's I do it slowly so you can learn the notes. Four, three, two, one, five, two, three, one. Then we have it five, four, three, two, one. You can see my fingers. Take time to learn this finger if it works. And then we'll match this pattern. A. F, E flat, B flat, F, and we have the rest of it. To practice, you could do rhythms. The opposite. Four notes. Then just play it. I hope this video was helpful and if you enjoyed, subscribe. Thank you very much.